guys, welcome to Jay Perry X. Today, we're gonna react to Legacies. Season four, episode 20. The season four finale, the series finale of Legacies. The final episode of the Vampire Diaries slash the Originals slash the Legacies universe, which is entitled, Just Don't Be a Stranger, okay? That's what we have. That's where we're at. If you just want to watch the reaction, please skip ahead. If you've been here for a while, please hang out just for a second before we get into it. I was just talking to the Patreon peeps. Uh, we're, we're about to close a chapter on our on our life here. And the Vampire Diaries is what started this, this reaction channel of hanging out and watching TV shows and commentating and just saying the stupid shit that comes to my brain uh, during the episodes and to make you all laugh or to make you cringe or to make you ask in the comment section why I add talk so much during the videos and why I pause so much and why that I just gave you the Netflix link so you can watch it by yourself instead of watching this because clearly it's not what you wanted. But <laughs> we, we started a long journey with this, watching those tribute videos and then starting the Vampire Diaries and then going directly into the originals. And I said I wasn't going to watch Legacies because it looked cringy and I wanted to wait till the show to finish up. And this show finished up pretty shortly after... We got into our midway through our second year of the reaction channel legacies wrapped up and so it's kind of it's been overdue it's two years in the making we started the vampire diaries ourselves uh the reaction on january 4th 2021 was season one episode one was the pilot and now you guys are getting this episode today uh here on the back end of, of 2024 so from january 4th 2021 to november 26th 2024 that is that is our run uh we've watched all let's put it this way the vampire diaries itself just for just a quick my notes i have here started on september 19th 2009 so this is 13 years of television about to be wrapped up right 13 years of tv September 19th and 09 from to that until March 10th, 2017 was the Vampire Diaries. From October 13th, 2013 to August 1st, 2018 was the originals. And then from October 25th, 2018, that motherfucker weren't done a month. Legacies came out running until June 16th, 2022, which in this episode came out. We watched all 171 episodes of of the Vampire Diaries, all 92 episodes of the originals, and this is episode 68 of Legacies. They should have stretched it to 69, but that's just the child in me. For 331 episodes of television, making this the longest thing that we've watched. It is the longest uh, franchise, with Supernatural being 327 episodes over 15 years, 15 seasons. Granted, this is three different shows, but it's still four more episodes than that entire thing was. Um... It's a lot of TV. It's a lot of episodes. It, it will talk more in depth at the end of it. But this is episode 331. And I just want to take a second and say thank you. I was trying to find the outfit I wore for the first episode of The Vampire Diaries. And I don't know where that Pokemon shirt is. And my blue hat is gone. I don't know where it's at. So I try to find the Punisher toboggan, right? The Punisher Daredevil toboggan that I wore throughout most of those reactions. And we washed it. And we set it out to dry. And I laid it aside, and I have no idea where it's at. It makes me really sad that it's not here because I wanted to wear that for this. Um, so instead, what we're going to do is we got some Brothers Bond bourbon. And we're just going to take a, a quick cheers at the start and end of this show. I'm going to go ahead. and I've had a little bit, uh, just a smidge in the past to taste it. It's a uh, very maple-y. Almost has like a syrup taste to it. It doesn't taste like syrup. So here comes my obligation to tell you, uh, that's probably more than I want it, to drink responsibly. If you are of age over 21 or wherever it is legal in your state or country, just because uh, I'm just a guy on the internet having a sip here with some friends. So, uh, to beginning and end, to the Vampire Diaries, to the originals, to Legacies, and my, my Halo decanter, uh, cheers to you. Thank you for the love and support throughout those 171 episodes, throughout those 92 and throughout these 68 to the trip to Mystic Falls in Covington, Georgia, 
uh, to taking the picture with the clock tower and sitting in prop chairs that were used on set and Sheriff Matt Donovan's bench and Matt or Damon and Rick's chairs and, you know, buying some Brothers Bond bourbon that uh, from Stefan and Damon from Paul and Ian. And it's just a, uh, it's a pretty cool experience. So never thought I would love this as much as I did, but cheers to you guys. It's good shit. Ooh, it came up through the nose. I don't want to drink a bunch of it because I'm also drinking an energy drink. I don't want to have a heart attack. So, uh, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, Jerry, I was going to bring him closer, but I want him to be as represented as he's been this entire time rather than just sitting next to me. So we left off on the last episode with uh, they won. They defeated the, the king of gods. <laughs> they defeated Ken. Everybody's free. Everybody's in love but Ethan's in purgatory with um, Landon. I don't know how this is going to end. Uh, I hope we see Joe again. Uh, I hope we we get a good definitive resolution. I don't know what's to come, but I'm looking forward to it. And I'm nervous. I'm anxious just as I was throughout the last episode. I'm going to go ahead and put this screen over here. I'm going to put Jerry behind the scenes. And for the very last time ever, uh, let's, let's watch something from this Vampire Diary universe. Oh, start with ease for Okay, there we go. Rather than just a little baby vigil that was just personal that we had in his room. Rick cleaned up pretty well. Guy's little lapel pin. Oh, Pedro, buddy. You gonna go try to talk to Landon? Not you, but Rick. That's a big I'm ass. From New Orleans. Bot from New Orleans? Oh, it's the fucking urn. But see, here's my thing, though. Is that what it looks like? Like, I know how important that is, and they went around and collected those, but, like, did they not give a fuck about Elijah? Shouldn't there be two urns? Maybe we get honor that. Rebecca time. and everybody again? That's really nice hope. I guess I'm not sure what my role is here without her. I think that's how the actors actually felt this entire time. Help. Maybe you can uh, tell me what I'm supposed to do with this. Mm. Not if I ever lose my way again. Right. I don't see that happening. <laughs> you don't know vampires very well. Especially not a Michelson. Student, please report to the Grand Hall for assembly. We gotta have one final fucking class student council oh, assembly, don't we? Here. Must close. But where would the kids go? That's a that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I have nothing more to say. Where would everybody go? I'm sorry. Is that the resolution is Keeping the fucking school together? Rick, you dipshit. I'm just mad now. Oh, legacies. And for the final well, second last time. Hashtag. Bloop. What you doing out here, you strong back motherfucker, bro? Good morning. <laughs> I don't think I could be celebrating and fucking and hugging and shit if I'm uh, sad. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be insensitive about the death of your classmate. Did Ken is, out is, something is is Ken the one that did the curse for the wolves? Can we said in the last episode that all the curses were lift? Oh god, that would suck. Maybe we just need a headmaster who can handle the pressure. Yeah, where does she lie? Does she fucking stutter? Because we had a fight to get you back, bro. If you don't What's want it. On? <sighs> Caleb the headmaster. Oh, okay. Pretty minimalist. I want you to come home with me. Come home with me. Make it your home too. Simple as that, Cleo. Let's get this fucking ball rolling. The kindest thing anyone has ever said to me. There is one condition, though. I need you to know exactly what you're getting into, warts and all. Okay, so tell me. I can't. We're all the heroes of our own stories, Cleo. If I tell you mine like you've been asking, I'll just end up spinning it to get you to say yes, which is why. I want you to use those powers of yours uh, to see for yourself. I don't oh, that's so. Of such a thing anymore, if I wish to be. Please a... try. That's so emotionally deep to say, like, hey, I would spin this in a way that would, I would, I would shine a light on it. Like, just I want you to see the raw nature of it and accept me for me. And if that's not fucking beautiful, I don't know what is. Who knows the answer to that, Ethan? Yeah, you just gotta go I'll back, right bro. Figure it out. <laughs> Blue 
<laughs> he said, all right. I need to see my father. Oh, don't do it. Oh, don't you do it. Get this one thing right, then maybe I can fix everything else that's been broken. And if you go even deeper, it's like a series finale. So, you know, you should really pull out all the big, the big guns. It's not because we're not destined to travel down this path together. What you mean? Where'd everyone go? Look who's talking. When you disappeared, I decided to hop behind the bar and take over. Wow, gee golly good willikers, could you fucking imagine that? Look how good you are at this job. Hey, buddy, you want to be the fucking ferry man so I can go make out with my girlfriend? What the fuck's wrong with you? I listen. I prefer a rescue guy. That's perfect timing, actually. I need help tracking somebody down. Just let him take I your you place, you talk some fucking sense tip shit. Milton. Don't. Milton me. Milton is a name wielded by bullies or my loved ones. <laughs> and right now, y'all are stuck dangerously in the middle. Right. This seems like a private conversation. Sit. Now. Bark, bark. He hasn't said a single fucking thing out of pocket, bro. Not a single solitary one. Why y'all looking at her like that? think you're going? I had a solid plan B. I'm just running away. Until I got this letter from Josie. Josie! Josie. You need to read it. Because there's something in it for you, too. Well, what is it, bro? What's she got to say? Where is she? Oh. Did you get a witch to put a barrier spell around your office? <laughs> I bribed Pedro of the candy bar. Not Pedro. Apparently, I overpaid. You did about how you want to spend eternity is this going to hurt you just told me that wolfsbane and i quote burns like a bitch yeah that's the whole point that's why it's wolfsbane Drop it in. doesn't that defeat the that i'm really proud of doesn't that defeat his whole fucking arc of being like you don't want me to be a werewolf no more fuck you i am who i am to being like well i guess i'm not a you know Stay ten toes down, bro. You're a wolf. Embrace that shit. Put on a bigger shirt, bro. Your fucking your traps are busting out the goddamn goddamn. Being a wolf and leader of the pack has always defined me. Make out with my boyfriend, who's dead. Don't worry. So are you? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit! Jesus Christ! Don't do that. You just ruined an emotional moment. Just uh. Take the fucking urn with you. Keep the ashes in it. You're my pendant. Oh, Lizzie, you're my pendant. Better late than never. Better late than fucking never, bro. So, fucking 67 hours. From here. Josie found another school she wants to go to in Europe. No, oh, I bet she did. She sounds happy. We wouldn't know. So, of course, I wanted to jump on a plane and chase after her. I wanted you, Lizzie. Always. Well, then you should probably kiss. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Oh, go, oh, go get. Go on now. Gone long enough, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> what? You've been gone long enough. Oh my I'm God. Sorry, I suck at you did so good. Hold on. Things we need to work on. Let's take this pause right here, because you know what we got to do. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> oh, Molly Mama Caroline. Hey, don't be coming here interrupting her fucking first official smooch with her boyfriend. Boyfriend with the Mama, Mama Caroline. I didn't hear a fucking single goddamn thing she said. Hold up for a minute now. Thanks, Mom. Oh, go away. I've been gone long enough, don't you think? Oh, Candace. That's Mama Candace right there. You look great. She even looks more like a mom now. You're not the pup anymore. I know. But I'm only resistant when someone's trying to make me do it. So it's cool. I feel that. Pack taking the news. Pretty sure you're going to kick my ass. You're stronger in other ways, Jed. You are, buddy. Thanks, Finch. So 
So what'd you have in mind? Wrestling, boxing, some type of... <laughs> Just the hug. Oh. I wouldn't want to let go at that point, not just because I don't want to lose, but like. What's with all the suspense? First things first. Your dad found peace. Oh. Which. Oh my goodness. That's... Oh, that's little hope. Her and them goddamn beignets. Oh, that's young, young hope. That's our young Danielle. I think that's her actual name, yeah? I can't fucking think straight. Oh, that's beautiful. Your dumbass should have been the fairy man, but it's okay, Ethan. I still love you. My littlest one. Stop it. Stop it! My miracle child. What a gift to be able to leave you one last message. So please, carry it with you in the years to come. I want you to know this. You will make mistakes in your life. That comes with being a Michelson. You will find love. And you will lose it. For such is the burden of immortality. But the most important thing about your life is that you live it. But I don't regret a single moment I spent with you. I love you so much. Always and forever. Always and fucking forever, baby. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Landon. You did such a good thing. That's good stuff. That's really, really, really nice. Yeah. For school, we fight for the things we love. Always and fucking forever. Like my man said, little shits. Tired of it. Dragon. Dragon. Oh boy, if you don't fucking. Well, I'm definitely feeling something. <laughs> You're a great man. You're the best. You're the best man. Yeah, buddy. Well, there's your art right there. Whatever just whatever just exploded, you keep that shit going about the business. What you all? <laughs> God damn it, Rick. It would be my great honor to tell those stories. By writing the definitive history of the supernatural beings I have known. So when that battle comes, we will all be better prepared. Yeah, man, go ahead and tell the stories of all the supernaturals you've known and how you've killed them. And how there's a bunch of, there's a school full of students, vampires, witches, and werewolves, and how to defeat them, and all the fail safes and plan. You can do that. I do think getting it out and about, doing the, the Wakanda thing of opening your, not resources, but your knowledge and these things to the public can just help for a better environment all the way around. Potentially not at first people gonna come with pitchforks, but after that, Armed maybe with the stories of the ones that we love. Oh, Caroline. Sweet. Here behind. I'm gonna go over and be this little head mask. Let me go ahead and give a little smile and a nod. Get my fucking screen time in. Oh, Mama Caroline taking it over, bro. That's good shit. Just in time. There ain't no more episodes left. She ain't got to work too hard. <laughs> and this school wasn't... Wasn't such a failure after all. No, man. You, you did the purpose that it, it needed to. You did the purpose that it served. Was that shooting stars? Oh, thank you. For being the um, second best father <laughs> I could have. Yeah, this. Oh. Well, thank you. 
being the third best daughter. <laughs> for being the third. <laughs> yeah, it's solid. Yeah. Interim headmistress. Interim. Sounds a bit stuffy, doesn't it? So why don't we just go with Caroline? Just call her Caroline, bro. Are you talking to me or your dad? Both. Both, I guess. Yeah. Peanut butter blast. Got your milkshake. Whipped cream on the bottom. That's a that's a limbo. Please don't knock it in the fucking water. It's nice to know that some things don't change. Where I belong when I'm in limbo. All I've ever wanted is a home. You had a home with her. Just don't be a stranger, okay? Roll credits! For the last time. We missed like the last three. But we're bringing it back around just right here, right? Not anymore. Is that some bitch magnetic? Because you clasped that lickety split. It gotta be magnetic. Ain't no fucking way, right? Welcome home. Welcome home. And that's a wrap on legacies. Hashtag bloop. A very wholesome episode as we'll read our last blurb real quick hope lizzie mg caleb jed cleo and alaric reflect on recent events and what's to come next for each of them hope and lizzie each find solace from unexpected yet welcome sources very 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 beautiful as we get candace king to show up on screen and just say hello basically uh she does a couple head nods here and there and then we get we get joseph morgan um albeit with a a white screen which is just a white screen behind him in peace uh i'm indifferent with a bunch of emotions because I went into it with a bunch of emotions and it felt like if you're closing this door that it should be grandiose kind of like the end of Supernatural without saying it, without spoiling it if you've never watched it it just should have been bigger I guess I was hoping here to see Rebecca and Freya and Cole and Marcel again uh, I was hoping to see them I was hoping to see something Especially once they showed, when she said she needs to see her father, I was hoping to see Klaus. Uh, you know, they pulled from so many things, and in Star Wars, there's a moment where, you know, a person who is not a, a Jedi, who is not a, he doesn't force ghost, shows up after they're dead. And it's a really touching moment. It felt out of place, but it was touching. And then you could have did that here, even if it's just a representation of her mind or or something, and maybe he couldn't be on set or whatever the, the case was, but to get them together, it should have been a, a mind-fucking-blowing moment, and I really wish that she could have had that moment with him and embraced just the necromancer giving us that bit of information, which Ted, I guess, found peace 100%. They didn't actually show it, but him getting the your father will never know peace until you do i think the necromancer should have been a bigger part of it uh maybe even manipulating things to get him to each other and maybe hope having to, to help him get the peace Cause i don't feel like hope was at peace at any point i don't feel like she's at peace now so how is he at peace she didn't find peace her boyfriend's fucking dead like she can't is she gonna move on like i know landon wouldn't care but the fact that Landon didn't allow Ethan to take his place because Ethan could have just did it. And it's, it sounds shitty for Ethan, but like Ethan could have took his place and sent Landon home and Landon could have been with hope and they could have had their moment. Not every ending has to be perfectly beautiful, but they deserve that for saying over and over, these two are destined not to be together. Defy the odds. Defy them. Fuck the odds. Fuck destiny. Just like Caleb and Cleo, like, okay, we have this future. Like, she's going to be a headmaster or a president. 
or something at some point in the future. Caleb's going to change the world. I said they do it separately, but they're going to try to do it together. Why doesn't Hope and Landon get the same ability? Um, but it was a beautiful episode. Cleo and, and, and Caleb consummate their relationship. Ethan finds peace. Caroline's back taking over the school while Rick goes to write his stories as he leaves in the middle of the night. No Josie, which is unfortunate. I guess I'll have to look up and see why she left the show. Um, you guys have probably already told me at this point in the comment section, but uh, I'll go back and read either or. And just knowing that she's gone and not having her for the final season or final episode. It, you know, it's the same thing with like Nina leaving and then coming back for the last episode of Vampire Diaries. It's not the same character scale, but I, I think it would have been nice to, to give her a definitive rap. But it's good that she's mentioned, uh, at least getting like an audio recording. But if she had troubles on set, like that makes that makes sense. Um, MG is finally with Lizzie, even though they had one smooch, all the other ones kept getting interrupted. They're finally together. I would have liked to see more of that blossom. I'm, I'm assuming nobody ever mentioned the merge being off since she's a vampire. And I feel like they did that to leave the door open where like the school is open and there's a new wave of people and Rick is off writing stories and. And uh, Caroline is here, and you have the twins. You have one's a vampire, one's a heretic. The other one's off elsewhere in Belgium. So it's like the door is open if you wanted to ever come back to it, uh, whether it was Legacies, whether it was just the Gemini Coven. You could bring that back. You could have a show just called Tribrid. Uh, but I don't know if you could take the story for hope any further. And this, this, this show was supposed to be about hope. And for the first three seasons, it was about Landon and I don't hate Landon. I just don't think the story, the story should have been focused on him. It should have been more focused on hope and becoming the tribrid and fighting things that aren't gods. But it, I, the show's better than I ever would have gave it credit for. Uh, the 68 episodes went really quickly. If for some reason, these 68 episodes feel like they went quicker than the 55 episodes that was in shadow hunters. Um, and it's, it's emotional. I felt a lot of emotions at the end of the last episode, knowing this was it. I felt a lot of emotions at the beginning, and now I don't feel those those emotions. We are closing that chapter on our on our life with this show and with this series. We are exiting the Vampire Diary universe, uh, and we're we're saying goodbye to these characters for now. And I hope there is something definitive that comes along, and not a reboot and. You know, I wish there was more mentions of Stefan and Damon or paintings of them or something. They didn't have to show up, but Stephanie Salvatore being a character could be a possibility to, to, you know, swoop in for for the school and overcome something. Or if you just want to do a, a, a movie, I don't know. I, I have a lot of ideas, but I don't know how to take it. It's just the... Uh, I'm very happy, but at the same time, there's there's a level of like, we could have did a little something else. And I don't know what it is just yet, but this was the most enjoyable season. Uh, it was a damn good series finale. And that his ashes were spread. They said, fuck Elijah. He doesn't get any ashes. But um, I just appreciate you guys for 331 episodes, for always asking for Vampire Diary and original videos, for always asking for legacies to come along, for popping into streams and talking about your favorite moments from reactions. And like I said, I have a girl in, in a class I'm teaching at work mention the vampire diaries and uh she was on season two episode 14 and we kind of both both geeked out about the season one finale with the hello john goodbye john and uh corny cheesy campy no matter how you want to spin it it was always enjoyable and legacies is the, it would be ranked last i don't want to say worse it sounds bad it'd be ranked last of the three shows easily but it doesn't take away from these beautiful characters that we got to know and love. Uh, so we're not 100% done yet. We have the trailers to watch, bloopers if we can find them. We will rank all of the characters um, in our tier list. You guys will see who the Mr. Goat is, Mount Rushmore, greatest of all time. You'll see who our four best characters are. And uh, we'll, we'll get those ranked up. We'll do a series recap, and we will we will recap the show as quickly and briefly as possible. But then we'll do a, a Jar Awards for the entire show. But first, we have to do the season four finale or season four recap. So we'll do the Jair Awards uh, tomorrow, and then we'll have things roll out, and you will get things uh, one after the other. 
as of right now, this should all wrap up uh, around December the 5th for the series recap. And then we'll officially put the pin into uh, Legacies. And that'll that'll be all she wrote. And we'll, that'll be the official end of this entire thing. And then we'll move on to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I don't know if we're going to change up our um, schedule just yet or not. But uh, we're definitely going to try to get more content out or, you know... Um, you know, we started off doing six episodes a week for shows just off on Sundays that evolved into five. It became a lighter schedule with trying to work in side shows. And then, you know, maybe we, we may go routes of other channels that's been requested. Maybe we do two or three episodes of a show a week and then do two or three episodes of another show or maybe like multiple shows at the same time. We'll just have to see how the workload goes and how well it is to appease or how well it is to do and make sure you guys are, are happy with with what's going on and the, the stupid shit I'm saying. So, uh, from, from Jerry, from, from Paul and Ian, from Stefan and Damon brothers, bond bourbon for me and Jerry for, let him have a sip for the vampire diaries, for the originals, for legacies, for Stefan and Damon and Caroline, Elena, for Jeremy, Alaric, Jenna, Catherine, John, um, for human Matt, <laughs> for the original of the Matt in the first couple seasons, to his sister, um, to Bonnie, to all of those people in that that opening thing, except for Tyler Lockwood, because he's a piece of shit, uh, to all of those people that made the Vampire Diaries great. To Klaus, Elijah, Rebecca, Cole, Freya, their one weird brother that I can never remember his name, Finn, yeah, to Vincent, to Marcel, to any of the extra supporting side characters I'm trying to think of off the top of my head, and to Hope, MG, Caleb, Cleo, Lizzie and Josie. Rick again, I guess. Uh, Ethan. Wade. Pedro. And anybody else. I know I forgot some names, but... Uh, shout out those people. As controversial as some people are in real life. Whether it be the writer, the director. Actors. Uh, I'm grateful for a phenomenal show. And I'm grateful for... Three hundred thirty-one episodes, and I'm grateful to be able to sit here. And when people ask me what I do on YouTube, and I say I watch TV, there's more to it with just commentating. But I'm getting to experience shows I would have never watched. I'm getting to experience new worlds and interact with you all, even if it is lighter, because I try to avoid spoilers. Uh, I've met some amazing people, and. Because of the Vampire Diaries, um, I met the love of my life, and we we own this house together, and we got two cats, and it's all very beautiful. And uh, hey, she reached out to me, and and things blossom. We tried Brothers Bond together on a New Year's, and three and a half years, and I, I couldn't be happier. So this universe is dope. Thank you all. And uh, from Jer Bear, from, from Jeremy to you, just uh, cheers. Boop. Please fucking drink responsibly. <laughs> Go straight to the nose every time. Oh, that impersonation sounded like somebody for a second. Oh. I'm all teary. I'm all snotty. And it's time for me to exit. So tomorrow will be the recap. Trailers, bloopers, character rankings, series recaps. And then I'll see you all for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I hope to see you there. And uh, I'll end it with saying, I love you. We'll have links and everything. Oh, fuck. Self-plug. That's all 68 episodes. All 331 episodes. This entire universe is over on Patreon if you choose to support that way. The first and last episode of every season is free. Season 5, episode 22 of The Vampire Diaries is blocked on YouTube. 
permanently, but you can watch it for free uh, over there. And there may be a couple free episodes sprinkled in that I just forgot to set to be costly. Um, so if you can support over there, uh, it means a lot to me. If you can't, I understand. Please watch it here for free. There's never any obligation. Um, but links and everything to all 331 episodes, the Vampire Diaries, Originals, Legacies, in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I love you. Always and forever.